The police officers taking statements from the three people claiming to be relatives of 25-year-old Patrick Serunkuma, who is fighting for his life after sustaining serious burn injuries in the Namungona Inferno, are confused by the contradicting testimonies. One, claiming to be the mother, had today received five million shillings which President Museveni had promised the survivors as well as the families of the deceased. She was, however, intercepted by 21-year-old Justin Nalugwa, claiming to be his half-sister. And a friend, Martin Sekandi, has been caring for him since Sunday. We shall interview them and see who has authentic information. What do they need to bring, really? The, the mother will, give, will avail us with the, with the documents pertaining to the water. Uh, like birth certificate, immunization card. This gentleman, friends to Justin, who claims to be the sister, supports her claim saying that they come from the same village and both know his father who had died years ago. Yet the mother says the father died recently. She says she has never met the woman claiming to be Patrick's mother. She, however, doesn't remember when she last saw him. Martin, who claims to be his friend, says he hasn't met any of them. They all had different pictures of Patrick. Unfortunately, his condition is worrying and he can't talk. He's among 12 survivors on treatment at Malago Hospital. A few of them are clearly on the way to recovery, but not all of them. And as Patrick fights for his life, his real family remains unknown. Kampala Metropolitan Police head Andrew Kawesi was forced to intervene. We learned some lessons from the previous experience of the bomb blast. We had some flackers of this nature, and quite a number of people claimed that money went to wrong hands. So this time around we are very careful. That's why we are not compensating at first. We are not giving those who are uh, the families of the deceased. We shall have to go house to house. The, st the state house controller will have the money. Police will come with the records. We we'll go to house to house of the deceased. But for the patients, quite a number of them would talk. And they have told us so and so should get our money. We don't care whether it's your wife, whether your sister, whether it's your so long as you say this is the one I want to get the money. The woman claiming to be Patrick's mother has returned the five million shillings to be given if and when Patrick regains speech. At the mortuary, seven bodies remain unclaimed. Adjacent to the mortuary just a few meters away are coffin makers who have tapped into the demise. <laughs> The mortuary today has had less claimants as most took their deceased on Monday. Meanwhile, a police preliminary report into the fire blames border borders at the scene for igniting it. These are three more victims succumbed to their injuries, bringing the death toll to 38. Florence Salimba, NTV, Mulago Hospital.